Hi, today I'm at Pearl Surya Gallery Shopping Mall. Okay, this is the Pearl Surya Gallery Shopping Mall, Genset Road. This is the Genset, the engine is Doosan, and this is their controller module. This is their Genset AMF panel. Today I'm going to show you how to do the cranking test for the Genset. As always, uh, it's quite popular for bomba inspection to have your genset um, test cranking. Okay, they always request you to crank test your genset to know the uh, efficiency of your nickel cadmium ba battery. This is the battery. Okay, before any cranking test, uh, you need to know for sure your genset spec and where is the fuel solenoid wiring which cable to isolate and how to do the crank test do, do uh, aware that all the genset is different this way is not applicable for all the genset but for certain genset it does applicable okay first of all before any cranking test do make sure you check the battery okay this is a nickel cat battery. Make sure the battery is fully charged. Okay, battery water level okay. Cable connection is okay. Not just check the cable, check also the terminal, no loose. All right, because during the genset testing, the amp will be quite high, about 700 to 1000 DCM, okay. This is a starter. Okay, make sure it's tightened. Do check the voltage. Another way is uh, prior to the cranking test, an hour or two hour, you can boost the battery. All right, and remember to off the boost after you have tested. Otherwise, your battery will become warm and it will dry up the water very fast. All right, this is the boost. Okay. All right. For this gen set, we have a module here, controller module here, and also the gen set AMF panel. Do take note if you have a module, even though you take out the fuel solenoid relay over here, this one, fuel solenoid master, it is still able to start because they have a signal sent to this controller module okay with this controller module in place you have to isolate from this controller module which means you need to open up this panel all right and locate the starter cable over here here already located the cable for the cranking test to be isolated is 204 this cable starter is 205 okay okay so once you have isolated that cable okay you can put it under manual mode manual mode and then you can start it as desired by the bomba officer how many seconds to run and how many seconds to rest and how many reps that depends on the bomba officer okay at the moment we put it to auto first because uh, at the moment I'm uh, just waiting for the bomba to arrive and then do the cranking test for the bomba officer to be witnessed with all right uh, and most important of all, what the bomber will always ask is, okay, this one, this wall barrier have to be one third of the height for this, this seal tank. Okay, the reason is if there's any leakage or spill off from this tank, it won't easily flow to the genset area. Okay, this one have to be raised one third and the pit to be filled with sand. Okay, to sort the diesel. And here, make sure 
and also do make sure the CO2 fire extinguisher is in place. Okay, it's the service date is updated. Bomba phone in good condition. CO2 panel in place. There's a service date here. It have to be serviced or replaced every ten years. Pilot cylinder, pressure gauge, okay. All right. And then this one, the fire curtain. Once activate the CO2 system, it have to be released and came down and block this thing. If let's say you have a ventilation fan, the ventilation fan must be off. Okay, and do make sure before any bomba testing, your CO2 panel is in good condition, especially the cable, the sensor cable, and also the battery, internal battery. Okay, later we have a test on the cranking. Okay, uh, do be aware that this cranking test, every time you test, you'll be draining off a lot of your battery. So uh, the best way is not to practice it so often, unless it's necessary. Because uh, it depends on your battery lifespan. If your battery lifespan is quite aged, that means more than five years, best recommended not to crank, crank test as often. Okay, okay, we are going to do the cranking test one time. Okay, here I already have the cable 204 release. Okay, we are going to use the manual mode. All right, this is the manual mode. So, uh, by norm, we always test crank the genset for 15 seconds and rest for 5 seconds. And normally, Bomba will request for about three reps okay so today we are just uh, normal testing we just test it for one reps and then uh, we will just normalize it back and test the genset the reason is uh, as I open this cable here there won't be any power supply going to the fuel solenoid this is the fuel solenoid okay as there's no supply going to the fuel solenoid the fuel solenoid will remain closed when it remain closed the diesel fuel cannot reach the engine thus the engine just crank that means this starter just crank and turn but the genset won't operate it, that, that means the engine won't run it just keep cranking as the cranking goes on uh, it will test and testify this battery efficiency as this is what the purpose of the cranking test is to know the efficiency of the battery all right we're going to do it one time so i'm going to put the charger to boost mode okay as i put to boost mode you see the m is higher all right so we're going to do it one time Okay. Ah, this one have an automatic. Okay, this is what we call cranking. The engine just keep on cranking, but it won't start. Today is just a demo for you. I won't going to crank a few more times. This is due to it will drain off the battery very easily. All right. So uh, I already stopped the manual mode. Okay. So if you want it to go back to normal, you just put back this cable, and things will run back as normal. Okay. Okay, after everything is normalized, we must uh, reconfirm the genset again and test run the genset under normal condition. Okay, now everything is back to auto. The cable put back in. 
we have to test the genset to confirm the engine is in good condition everything can run back as normal okay uh, first of all we close the door first otherwise very noisy <laughs> yeah okay we are going to run under test mode okay test mode oh, test mode all right Okay, after five minutes, the genset will stop automatically mm -hmm. as the selector put back to auto. auto. Okay, so uh, before we go out of this room, make sure selector switch is auto mode. Mm. The DC on switch is on. On. Charger is ticker mode, no boost. Uh. Charger is on, okay. <laughs> MCCB on, okay. Emergency stop release. Okay, uh, everything auto. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I need Mila. Okay.